this video, I will be synthesizing thymol clean, an acid base indicator which is often used in making disappearing ink. For the synthesis, we require 1 gram of thalic anhydride, 2 gram of thymol, and 4 to 5 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. To begin, the thalic anhydride and thymol were crushed together and transferred into a round bottom flask. Then, 5 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid are added. You can see that a green color is formed in the flask. Then the flask was kept in a boiling water bath for an hour where it turns into a magenta color. This is the color of thymol clean. It is magenta color at pH less than 0 and blue at pH more than 10.5. What's happening here is 2 moles of thymol is reacting with 1 mole of thalic anhydride in the presence of sulfuric acid to form thymol thylein. After 1 hour, a solid chunk is formed which is broken with a glass rod and distilled water is added. Then the flask is directly heated and solution is boiled until odor of thymol stops coming. After most of the thymol is removed, the solution is filtered off through a pre-weighed glass crucible while hot and washed two times with hot distilled water to remove the unreacted thalic anhydride as thalic acid. The final yield was 0.5 grams which corresponds to a percentage yield of 17%. There wasn't much thymol clean in the water so I don't know why yield was so low because there were not much unreacted reactants. Anyways. This much is sufficient for me. Now for making disappearing ink. In a while, I took few crystals of thymolflein and dissolved it in alcohol. Then I added equal amount of distilled water. Then to this solution, I added one drop of 5% anywhere solution and it turned to a dark blue color. Our disappearing ink is ready. Now, I filled this ink in a fountain pen. Now, I tried writing with it and it disappeared very quickly. The timing can be increased by increasing the amount of sodium hydroxide. Now, I spilled some ink on a white wall of my house and after some time it disappeared like nothing was spilled on it. The reason it happens is because the carbon dioxide in the air reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium carbonate and it then reacts with the sodium carbonate to form sodium bicarbonate. The pH is lower than 9.3 so thymolphalene turns colorless. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions please write down in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you like my work you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.